I don't know of any other disease that's worse than ALS, but at the same time, ALS has been a gift to me. Now, there are people who would say that I'm crazy to say that, and I understand that. How is it a gift to me? About a year before I was diagnosed, my friend's mom died, and we all got together and said, wow, we should do this again. Well, we didn't until I got diagnosed. And then I wrote to my friends and said, hey, here, you know what we talked about at Sue's mom funeral? I have a fatal illness. Let's not wait. Don't wait for my funeral. Let's get together now. So that's what we're doing. Friends I've had from kindergarten, we're getting together now. And we do it on a regular basis. It's not just one dinner. And, and they're all getting this idea of don't wait. Don't wait to, to share love. Joining a support group for ALS, I've made some wonderful, wonderful friends. Some of them died, and that's sad, and some of them were we're still going along pretty well, and one of my friends, Karina, I absolutely love her, adore her, and we have so much fun, and we laugh, and we actually make fun of ALS. And you know what? If I didn't have ALS, I would never have met her. And she's this wonderful friend. The devastating things that happen can also become something beautiful because it does open up and it's real when you get together with your friends you're not talking about your new car not who has the you know the best looking new hairdo or or you know that kind of thing <laughs> disease worse than ALS. I don't think there is anything better than connecting on the soul level with your friends. Mm -hmm.